Today I'm going to show you how to draw a pair of binoculars, but let's not talk about it. Let's do it. Okay, I'm going to start very gently by drawing a line just to give me a kind of a feeling for an angle that we're going to work on. And then here we're going to want to draw an ellipse. So this isn't a circle. Um, and in fact, I want it to be more kind of that way. So it's going to be around like that. And then it's going to come back a bit like that. And we want to do a similar kind of curve. And then it's going to come back a little bit, getting thinner and thinner like that. And then we're going to want another curve coming around there. So this part here is connected to a similar thing on the other side. So let's draw a little line coming along there and it's going to be coming around about there. So we're going to want a similar circle, not a circle, an ellipse um, about there and that will come like that. And we can then connect those two across there like that. That will curve around a little bit and across you can make this a curve at the top if you like, it just makes it a bit more interesting. And then we can draw a little circle in there and a line across there and a line coming down. Then we want those kind of that kind of bottle thing going on there. And those extra bits that you cut, those are the bits that you look through. And then here we're going to want to have a curve, line across, line come and then coming out like that. I'll move that down into the middle, maybe zoom in a little bit. Now I'm going to start with this curve across there and I'm going to flick a little line across there and there and down to there and then we're going to bring that across at a line across there and then that down there. This can come down and then we're going to have a little kind of circle thing there and then here we can bring this out and around and all the way up to there. Similarly we can come from here, we can come straight down there and around and up to there. And then we can draw that line across there too. Here we want that kind of thumb wheel that you adjust the magnification with so that will sort of come around there like that and then we want to draw these little bits so that those are the bits that your thumb can catch hold of as it's going around it. Now here we're going to bring that around there and I'm going to let that just fade away like that. Bring that around and let it just fade away around that kind of ellipse. And then we're going to draw inside it like that. So go carefully around it, not quite touching, but just keep the equal distance apart, distance away from that, the outside of that ellipse. And then we can have these tubes coming back there like that, and they will join together with a curve at the end, and that will come to there. And we get that curve there too. Then we're going to want a little, like a little sausage coming around there. Around there too. That can come straight back and then we'll join those together with a curve. So straight back, straight back, join together with a curve. And then here we want to start around about that there. And so we're kind of creating a, a moon shape, a crescent moon kind of shape there and bring that in nice and tight. When you are sure that the ink is absolutely dry then you can erase those pencil marks and no one will ever know how you planned it. Um, we're going to draw kind of a little curved sort of box there for the shine on the glass and Gonna draw a little curve and a smaller curve and a smaller curve. A curve and a smaller curve and a smaller curve. And then here we're going to shade that in and then make those 
further and further apart those lines so you sort of shade it in with lines but then make them further and further apart so we get a kind of a shade inside and then here we're going to want to put these little curving lines there for shade and we can do the same here as well it just gives a feeling for the the curve of the the sort of the barrel of the binoculars that will come in around there like that and around there that we can maybe make that all quite dark into there uh, we could maybe do something like that a bit of shade in there as well and I think we can add a bit of shade across the top so these little tiny little curves and you really want to take your time and with all of this uh, video if you find it goes a bit fast for you you can stop and start and replay at any time that you like because you're not going to break the internet and a lot of learning how to draw is about practicing and doing again and again and if you didn't quite get, think oh, I didn't understand that bit just go back and play it again you know you can take your time and then you can put some shade in across the bottom there like that because it's sitting on the table that will come all the way around like that and just stop about there and we'll want to do something similar all the way along here <laughs> and I'll just speed this up and if you want to know what it looks like with the shading in go to my website uh, there's a link down below and yeah you'll be able to see it sort of finished so you can copy the shading and the coloring too and there you go how to draw a pair of binoculars real easy Thanks for watching and make sure you are subscribed to Draw Stuff Real Easy and keep coming back for lots more drawings every week. In the meantime, keep drawing, 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 practice, 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 and I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye bye.